All right, hey there, and welcome back to my channel, Smart Hustle PH. And uh, today, uh, we're going to be unboxing the X2 uh, burner mic isolation shield. If you're someone who's passionate about, you know, creating high quality audio, then you're going to want to stick around for this. So, ngayon, ito, uh, just this arrived, I think this was yesterday. But before we get on with the uh, unboxing, if you want to know more about uh, my gig for my voiceovers or whatnot, or maybe just want to start a side hustle uh, doing voiceovers or maybe just doing something fun doing doing voiceovers or singing maybe just uh, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this so let's open yeah yes it's all right so here it is, the Extuga. Oh, it's a plain mic. Extuga burner, mic isolation shield. Yeah, microphone isolation shield. All right. Okay. Alright guys, so before we uh, proceed, anyway, just uh, for those who may not be familiar with uh, what a mic isolation shield is, uh, this is a tool used in audio recording to isolate your microphone from unwanted, most unwanted uh, ambient noise and the reverb. Alright, so if you notice yung mga nag-e-echo sa, you know, if you're in a room na walang, walang, especially pag walang gamit or in the, in the CR or toilet, okay, so nag-e-echo yung boses natin. So this, this is particularly useful for uh, recording voiceovers or podcasts where you want to, uh, you know, just want your voice to be the center of attraction and not the sound of your room. So the Extuga Burner Mic Isolation Shield is a five-panel five, uh, five panel, uh, high-density absorbent foam shield designed to improve the acoustic quality of your recording space without installing permanent treatment. Okay, if you have something like uh, these acoustic foams, on my wall so this is just to add some ano, you know ac acoustic you know effect I say major studio apartment kasi to so it's just you know the the walls around me so pag wala to pag nag voice over ako if i do some uh, some recording so medyo nagba bounce back yung ano nagre reverb yung voices ko natin so this is an excellent tool for uh, recording in less than ideal environments and can make a significant uh, difference in the quality of your recordings. So let's uh, assemble this and then uh, let's uh, take a closer look. We have four panels and we just have one more to go. So, hindi siya ganun kadaling, you know, <laughs> assemble. But, you know, okay lang. I enjoy, you know, assembling it. Parang naglalaro lang ako ng ano. Ewan, ng Lego or what. Pero sobrang lakas ng ulan talaga. Ewan ko lang kung naririnig ninyo. Pero kahit ang lakas na ng ulan, naka-aircon na, pinagpapawisan pa rin ako. In fairness, ah, napaka-challenging nito. But, I like it. This is something I don't really need na yung lalagyan pa dito sa gitna because I can just do my recording here something like this 
And bababa ko na lang tong yung microphone ko. So I can just adjust this something like like that. Ayun. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. So if I were to re do my recording, I can just do something like this. Okay, just maya maya lang I'll show you yung lumang yung ginawa kong DIY na sound. Ay sorry, to pala. <laughs> Kalok ito yung ginagamit yung mic. So like I said, um, bababa ko na lang itong, ano, itong uh, boom arm at yung microphone ko. Papasok na dito. Kasi dito, na ako, dito ako nang gare-recording. And I'm gonna show you yung, ano ko, yung dating DIY na sound booth na ginawa ko that I've had for about, you know, 8 years. From 2015 until today. And I think I'm still gonna use it but ito na yung parang uh, yung upgrade ko. Alright, I'll show you that in a bit. So, ito muna. Ito muna natin. Ito. So, like I said, hindi ko to... I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this. Hindi naman ako magta-try pa. Dito na ako magre-recording. Unless, kung tatayo, tatayo ako at gagamitin ko yung tripod ko. Okay? So, if it's really necessary, then I'm gonna use that. But ito, hindi. Uh... Okay, so guys, napakahalaga ng manual natin, ano? So, huwag niyong walain to. Ayun na lang magwala. <laughs> huwag lang yung manual. <laughs> okay, next is, I think this is something that goes dito. Ayan. Ah. Alright, there you go. Okay. So, merong screws po dito. You need to remove this para mailagay natin to. I don't know what you call this. Um, brackets. Oh, accessories or whatever. So, ganyan. So, you could put your mic. If I were to disassemble this, itong mic ko, pwede kong ilagay dito. In, you know, in the right position. Or what. Ayan. But like I said, I'm not gonna use this. Kasi ito, may boom arp na ako. So, pwede siyang ganyan. I don't think this is pretty cool. I use huh? So I don't know. Try try natin na. Ah. If I'm gonna use this, the major di ko na tanggal to di ko pa na set up tong Movo VXR10 ko. Something like like this. The major ma 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 ano siya. I have to set this up in a way na ano. Di lo di ko lo na prepare. Okay. So sound check. Mic test. Mic test. Mic testing. One two three. So it's not that easy, you know. To assemble, pero I think it does the job. I don't know if you can see this that clear, pero ganito yung parang setup, magiging setup ko moving forward. So anyway, first off, um, I have to say this thing is solid. Okay, the build is build quality is fantastic, and you can tell it's going to last um, you know a long time. Nahirapan nga ako magassemble. Eh. So each panel is covered in high density foam that's going to absorb any sound that comes its way. So the foam is also designed to be kuno, fire retardant so you can use it without any worries. So it's if you if you check it out, itong mga foams na to parang katulad lang din nitong acoustic foams ko dito sa sa wall. Mas malaki nga lang yung ano, parang corrugation man tawag doon. Ito mas mini version. Okay. Just perfectly fit for the mic isolation shield. So, balik natin to, and uh, as you can see at the back, okay, you can see brackets that's designed to hold your microphone securely in place. Ito, ito yung bracket. Okay, so you can position your microphone exactly where you need it. Pero hindi ko naman siya gagamitin. I'm just gonna keep this in a way, just in case. So, here it is. And your setup is ready to go. As you can see, the x 2 burner mic isolation shield is a perfect fit for my microphone. Okay, it's already making a huge kumaga para sa akin. Susubukan ko pa lang siya, but I think it's well, based on my experience using my old DIY isolation shield. And talking about that, kukunin ko yung DIY uh, mic isolation shield or yung sound booth ko. Yung ginagamit for, for 8 years. Since 2015 until now. Okay, wait lang. Okay. Alright, I hope you can see this. Ano. This is just um, 
you know, an ordinary storage box na ginawa kong sound booth. Ano lang to? Binikitan ko lang, nilagyan ko lang. Know, Elmer's glue lang yata ang ginamit ko dito. Eh. So this has been, I've been using this for 8 years. Keepin mo yun. But pumikita ako dito. <laughs> Ayan, this is my isolation booth. You've seen yung foam sa ganito. Yung iba ginagamit is yung egg, egg trays. O pwede naman. Yeah, I think that'll work. Pero mas prefer kung yung foam talaga. If you can see this, merong ano dito. Kasi dati, meron yung mic ko. Yung Audio Te Technica AT2020. Merong parang desk, ano, stand. Mic stand na maliit lang. So I can put this here. Dito ako magre-recording. Ganyan. Sige, I'm gonna try this. Ayan. Sound check, mic test, mic testing. Nagamit ko pang atong mic na to before. Okay, pag medyo madali yun ginagawa. Medyo mabigat yung ano, heavy duty yung uh, audio technica na condenser mic talaga. So if I were to be to record just a short, you know, uh, scripts, so I can just put this here and record myself. I don't know if you can hear the difference. At meron pa na, meron pa akong neto, itong fleece blanket. Kasi the more na mas maraming ano, um, heavy na tela or fabric mas nakaka-capture na, na 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 hindi yung nag-bounce yung music or music or yung sound yung eh, walang hindi eh, walang echo so try natin magmumuka akong tanga dito pero eh, <laughs> this is how it works and it works really even until now so eto sound check mic testing one two three mic testing one one two sound check one two and guys yeah, so sa mga gustong mag, you know, mag-start ng voiceover, if you want to do this on the side, this is something you could, you know, do yourself. Kung, kung ayaw, ayaw mong bumili ng yung talagang extuga, mic isolation, or any other items or equipment, you know, pwede namang gumawa eh. Ano, para-paraan lang talaga. Discarte lang. Kung gusto, meron paraan. Kung ayaw, maraming dahilan. So this has been with me. Ngayon, gagamitin ko na lang to as storage box talaga. Okay, maybe I could put my microphones here, yung mga delicate mga items. But this is my, and yung sound booth ko for about 8 years. Amazing. So, alaki ng pakinabang nito sa akin for so long. Okay, so balik natin to. This is my new baby now. <laughs> Alright. Looks good. Can straighten this up. Siguro wag lang masyadong sikipan yung mga you know screws para mas madali siyang ma-expand. Siguro masyadong nasikip yung napasikip yung ano ko. Pag screw natin, medyo luwagan natin ng konti. Yun, so medyo mas ano siya mas mas madali ko na siyang ma-adjust. Ma and yes, mas maliit nga lang siya dun sa DIY na sound booth ko. Pero, I mean, it does, I think it, it will do the job. Mas madali ko siyang i-set up dito kaysa dun sa storage box. Medyo, storage box, rather. Mas maliit yung, maliit yung mesa ko. Meron pa naman akong ano dito, yung mga, yung monitor, tsaka yung, yung riser, monitor riser. So, may mga laruan pa ako dito. So, syempre, eto na. Diba? By looking at this, I can already tell that this is going to be a game changer for me. So, no, not really no background noise. Hindi lesser, Lesser background noise, mas malinis, mas clear yung audio. That's going to take my content to the next level if I do like uh, voiceover recordings. So, hindi naman to pang pro level. Ha. If you really want to go pro, kung talagang karir mo yung pag voiceover, marami ka makikita dyan sa YouTube. Hindi naman kailangan kasi pumunta ng studio, music studio, or mag magbabayad ka ng rent or whatever. O magtayo ka kung talagang meron, may, may kaya ka. You can set up your own home music studio or uh, sound booth talaga yun talagang uh, nakaset up for your workspace yung talagang yun yung career mo so if you're someone who's uh, serious about creating high quality audio though not necessarily pro level sabi nga then I highly recommend checking out the uh, burner uh, Xtuga burner mic isolation shield you can check it out on my link in the description below where I got this uh, from so at, it's easy I think it's e it's easier to use than my DIY sound booth of course and it's built to last and it's going to take your recordings to the next level. And then thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.